Pistol Mods Episode 4. And we're hitting it. We've done triggers, we've done sights, we've done a general overview, which if you haven't seen that episode one, you need to go at least watch that before you come and do this one. Anything that I display in here, like grip plugs or slide uh, stop releases, I'll have below in the video description to make it easy for you guys to find the stuff so you're not on a witch hunt. And, ah, oh, that felt good. And now all my chiropractors who follow the channel, everyone's going to message me of like, John, that's bad for you. I'm like, sorry, dude. You're right, but I'm just going to do it anyway for now. All right, let's check it out. Uh, first mod, which is a really good idea. If you've got a Glock, this little shelf in there can get hung up when you go to seat a magazine. It can get hung up on that shelf. So what we can do is put a little grip plug like this guy, and you get 10 points if you guys put the words War Poet on there, because come on, represent already, you know? Anyway, yeah, you get the uh, little grip plug right there, and here, here's three easy installation instructions. Step one, line it up. Two, put it in. And three, hit yourself for needing steps one and two. That was too easy. But now you can see the angle is all smoothed out, so now you can really, really easily get it in and you don't get hung up on that shelf. Very inexpensive mod that I absolutely put in all of these guns right here have it, except for something like this guy, which is... A ridiculously awesome gun, and this is a really competitive shooter race gun. And it's got this huge flared magwell right here and no shelf built in there. So, like, if you held my pistol 10 feet away, I could take the magazine in the dark and throw it 10 feet away. It's probably going to perfectly seat because of that. That's probably not true. But anyway, you get the idea of, like, man, I am really fast and consistent with this guy. It's hard to miss. But uh, anyway, that... Uh, that uh, grip plug's a really good idea. Onward to the next one, and that is extended mag releases. I like this one. This is by Vickers, and the way it's angled is you can push it from straight in, like the normal stock ones, or slightly from the rear as well, and it depresses the mag release and allows the mag to fall freely. That's a really good modification. It's not moving mountains with just a stock one. Uh, because I turn the gun and properly do my... Uh, uh, reload or, or releasing of the mag. I really don't have a problem with it either way, but it has a marginal benefit for me, so I go ahead and do that. This one right here is a huge button right there. Again, you can just, I can hit it with my palm, you know, and fall out. Not that you would, but I'm just saying it's a big honking button. Uh, you can get in a little bit of trouble with the smaller ones. I noticed that extended mag releases, unless it's something obnoxiously big, like on a competitive shooter gun, when I EDC, especially from appendix, this can push against belts or clips, something that allows the mag to push, and then your magazine, which was seated all the way uh, in, ends up doing that which means your first shot will go, but then it won't actually feed a second round. I see that all the time with subcompact, so it's probably best to just go ahead and leave it stock, but you can switch it out, but then watch it. And if you ever shoot and then it doesn't cycle the next round, that's probably what's happening. You needed to ditch that guy right away. Got it? So anyway, uh, I do use all of my guns right here. I've got five guns in front of me. Every single one of them has an extended mag release on it. Uh, and uh, Yeah. So uh, the last thing I want to look at is extended uh, slide stop levers. Here's a Glock 43, and having it on a Glock 43 is a big deal, or a 42, or any smaller frame gun, so that now I can just literally sweep in and it comes in. Now the difficulty, I used to love these extended slide catches and I, or slide stop levers and I had them everywhere. But the difficulty is if you have a really good grip and you're shooting properly, because this hand up is so high, it can sometimes push against that slide catch, which is extended in catching. And while you're shooting, it locks the slide, uh, it locks the slide to the rear, even when you got a full magazine in there still. That's a big deal. Now, some folks, after they have extended slide uh, stop levers that are ac accidentally, inherently, because they have a good grip, is doing that, they'll do a couple things. And this is real bad stuff, guys. One is they'll say, hey, all right, this grip helps me shoot fast and accurately, but let me go ahead and back off this grip. So this, which helps me, I'll go ahead and lower it down a little bit so that slide catch doesn't happen. I'm like, no, 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 no. Let the gun and modifications work with the physics, not against it. I don't want to adjust a good grip around a bad design. Let's adjust a, uh, you know, have the good grip and adjust the design around it, right? So really the big answer is if you're having that happen, 
get rid of that extended uh, slide stop lever. Get rid of it so it doesn't happen. Uh, all of these, other than this Glock 43 I'm showing you here, every 19 I've got here, and even on my 34 here, I immediately ditched those because I had the problem when I'm just normally shooting, it just locked to the rear because I had a really high uh, grip, and this is the proper shooting platform. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it get training. Uh, trust me, it's better. It really is. Uh, but um, anyway, a real high thumbs forward grip like this can be really advantageous. Now that's one thing they'll do is one is, hey, let's adjust our grip to have a crappier grip so that that doesn't happen. And I don't like that solution. I'd say just ditch the slide stop lever. The second thing that uh, dudes will do is it'll keep locking to the rear like so, but instead, as soon as that happens, they just immediately go ahead and rack to go forward because they know the, the magazine is not empty. Now this is problematic because when the slide locks the rear, you should it should induce an immediate action drill. Either you know you have an out of battery stoppage and you need to go and lock to the rear, strip, cycle, 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 reload, and pop, 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 and go shoot. Or it locks the rear because you're empty and you need to immediately do a magazine exchange. But instead, the slide locks the rear for you because of that problem. And instead of doing one of those other immediate action drills, you just do that because you're gaming it. And so when you really do need to reload or you have to do something else, then you have problems because you got a training scar where you're gaming a pistol. So that can be really, really dangerous. So overall, I say don't touch the extended slide releases on a Glock or sli uh, slide stop levers on a Glock. Go ahead and change out the extended mag release button if you want and go ahead and get a grip plug. Those are uh, real simple, pretty cheap mods. Descriptions below. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Guys, share, subscribe, and notice in the bottom by the subscribe button there's a little bell. That's notification so that when I post a video you get an email about it so you don't miss any content because it would break your heart and I don't want to put you through that, right? Train hard, train smart, and be careful about what you buy. Just because it's out there doesn't mean it's a good idea. See you guys.